How much revenue has your cleaning business lost due to the coronavirus? You know, I've been talking to many cleaning companies and, you know, some of them are t telling me that in their area that uh, the, it's getting hit pretty hard. So their, uh, their schools and universities that they're servicing, you know, are either uh, closing down, uh, you know, to uh, keep the spread of the coronavirus uh, from spreading more rapidly uh, and uh, other types of businesses. So what that's doing is that that's affecting their invoice. Uh, obviously, you're not going to bill them for cleaning that you're not doing. So that means that you're losing some revenue. So I guess my question to you is, what's your plan? How are you going to deal with that? If you got an account that all, uh, all of a sudden uh, decides that they're going to uh, shut down or keep the public from coming in, you know, let it be a museum or whatever it might be, um, and that's one of your accounts that we were making, you know, a thousand or a couple thousand dollars a month on. What do you do? Uh, you know, you, like I say, you're not you're obviously not going to bill them for services that you're not providing, uh, and um, but yet you're losing uh, a lot of money each month. So you know, you got employees that uh, that aren't going to be working. Uh, you know, can you shift them around to other locations? Well, maybe, maybe you can use them as floaters and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, let's say you got a full staff and you got floaters and on-call people already. Um, so that may not work for you. So that means that you might have to lay some people off. You know, if you have accounts like this that are that are closing down to, uh, due to the uh, to the virus. Now, I would say uh, something that you want to think about is, you know, what kind of a plan do you have? Uh, for this when it does happen uh, because it seems like uh, it will continue to happen uh, throughout the United States uh, you know uh, there's some areas of Maryland where this is happening already so um, you know have a plan uh, at least you can do is go to your clients and uh, show them that you actually got a, a written plan of how you're going to handle this uh, as far as how you're going to fight the coronavirus and um, if you don't have a plan, we have one on the janitorial store. It's in the download library. So you can go there and download that. Uh, and it's a, it's a couple page uh, uh, plan. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to use that to, uh, uh, you know, write your own plan. And, um, and uh, show your clients that you actually have a plan in place of how you're going to fight the coronavirus and what your process is and so on and so forth. But anyway, that's something that you can do. And uh, also, you know, when you're having things like this happen, uh, think about what kind of services that you can offer. So, you know, every, a lot of companies are now offering disinfecting service. Well, you know, and if you if you weren't offering this before or you were not cleaning for health, then it's a good time to get on board and, and start offering that. Meaning that you're going to go in and you're going to clean all the, disinfect all the touch points uh, and or like some of these schools and universities or museums that are, that are, uh, closing down uh, because they don't want the, the groups of people in there, uh, well then maybe you can offer the same type of service to where you're going to come in and do a total disinfectant. You know, where you're going in with electrostatic uh, uh, dis, uh, uh, sprayer to do your disinfecting and you're actually wiping down surfaces too. So have some kind of a plan, you know, and try to think of how you can maybe um, create some revenue from this and uh, you know how you can help fight uh, the spread of the of the virus remember it's just a virus um, you know the this had happened uh, in I think it was like the 1919 or 1918 or something uh, with the influenza uh, flu uh, but anyway you know so it's not the first time that the United States has seen something like this where they've had a virus that's that's just spread rapidly and and uh, you know some people are dying so, you know, I think we know how to handle it. The thing is, is that they just don't have a, a you know, a, a cure for this uh, virus yet. But it's still, it's a virus. So it's all about washing your hands and cleaning the touch points, keeping your hands away from your face. Um, you know, so you just follow some of these simple rules and, you know, you'll probably be fine. And, you know, staying away from uh, highly infectious areas, you know, where, where there's a lot of cases, uh, you know, stay, uh, stay out of those areas. But uh, in any case, um, you know, I was thinking about this before because, uh, you know, I know that uh, companies are losing revenue uh, because of this, and uh, we've got to have some kind of a plan. What are we going to do? So 
you know, before it happens, you know, have a have a contingency plan uh, and know what you're going to do and how you're going to shift people around and how you're going to really handle the situation if you're going to be losing revenue uh, because of the coronavirus. So uh, that's all I had. I just want to do a short tip uh, on this, and uh, hopefully this will this helps.